We've looked at the Pearson correlation coefficient. Now we're going to look at a non-parametric equivalent of the Pearson correlation coefficient, and that's the Spearman correlation. Now we use the Spearman correlation if we have nominal or ordinal data, and we also use it if our data is not normally distributed. Now the research problem that we have in front of us on the screen is, is there a relationship between attendance and exam score in a group of 10 students sampled from a boarding school? So we want to know if there's a relationship between percentage attendance and percentage exam score. Now both attendance and exam score are measured on an interval scale, so they're not nominal or ordinal data. And we would usually use a Pearson correlation to correlate interval data. However, we don't know if this data is normally distributed. So the first thing we really need to do is check the distribution of this data. So if we click onto SPSS, I've already got the data inputted onto the SPSS spreadsheet and the variables labelled. Just to remind you that the measures are both on a scale, so we don't need to change those to anything else. So in terms of our checking for a normal distribution, we need to just go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Explore. My dependent variables are already in my dependent list there. In terms of my plot, so I'm going to plot a histogram so we can have a quick look at it. But really we want the normality plots with tests. So we click Continue and then click OK. We get the output from our tests of normal distribution and we'll go straight to the important information which is the tests of normality so we've got the kolmogorov shmirnov test again and the shapiro wilk test next to that so if you look at attendance and specifically the significance values for attendance we can see clearly that for the kolmogorov shmirnov test there is a significance value of 0.001 and we get the same level of significance for the shapiro wilk test so clearly the data for attendance is not normally distributed. Conversely, the data for exam score is normally distributed, but because we're correlating some non-normally distributed data with some normally distributed data, we should use the Pearson correlate. We should use, sorry, the Spearman correlation, not the Pearson correlation. Just want to reiterate that point. We're going to use the Spearman, not the Pearson. We can see on the histogram here that there is some skewness in the data. Usually a normal data distribution will have the majority of cases in the middle, whereas the majority of cases here are at the far right, so it is skewed. So when we actually want to run a Spearman correlation, it's very simple. We do it in the same way as the Pearson correlation. It's a, another bivariate correlation, so we go correlate, bivariate, and we have our variables in the correct variable box. But rather than click Pearson this time, we just click Spearman. And then we click OK. And SPSS very quickly runs this analysis for us. So again, we, we want the correlations box that SPSS produces for us. Uh, if we correlate attendance with attendance, we get a score of 1. If we correlate score with score, we get a, a, a correlation of 1, which is obviously not what we're looking for. We're looking for the correlation between attendance and score. We get a very low correlation here, it's 0 0.028, so not a very strong correlation. It is a positive correlation, but as we've said, not a very strong one. And then we get the significance value, the two-tailed significance. And that's 0 0.939, so it's not less than 0 0.05. So we can safely conclude, based on these results, that there was no significant positive correlation between attendance and exam score in the 10 boarding school students that we sampled. And that's a Spearman correlation.